Tom here from Lawrence Systems. I'm going to talk about how I became Tom here at Lawrence Systems. So if you want to learn more about me and my company, just keep watching this video. And I usually have a spiel I put in, but I won't, but lawrencesystems.com is my company's website and you can hire us for projects and things that we talk about. I started this video over a couple times because I'm trying to figure out how to articulate it. So I'm going to just try to keep it to a few brief points. And if there's enough interest, I will make a longer, more in-depth video, but I'm not always sure what people want to know. Now, when I do a tech video, it's rather simple. Here is the beginning of the project. Follow these steps to complete this task. And this is the outcome. So how do you write a firewall rule? Well, we write the rule this way and then the firewall rule works this way. That's not how business works at all. And I made just at least a couple notes here on like timeline and things like that. So I can at least have some conciseness to this video. But for those of you wondering how I started my company and a little bit of my background. First, I did not go to college. I am only a high school graduate. So that's the you know base level school, no extra college. Because when I graduated in 1984, I did not come from a family of wealth. And maybe there were loans at the time. I don't know. I didn't understand any of that. I wasn't a really good student. And I just was happy to be out of school and wanted to work. So I actually went to a vocational school for tool and die. And I did do some computer classes briefly that they had access to in high school. But this was 1992 and I did a Pascal class and a COBOL class. So on old IBM 1980s, IBM XTs, cause that's what was available at the time back then. I started my first tech job in 1995 working for small business. Then I worked in a corporate area from 1998 till 2003. And then September of 2003, 17 years ago now, I filed my S Corp Lawrence Technology Services. Now, the whole happenstance was the company I used to work for, well, things weren't going well. And it made me angry because the owners had made decisions that was putting the company in jeopardy and they filed for bankruptcy, but not going out of business bankruptcy. Going out of business bankruptcy um, happened at a later date for them, kind of, but they split the company up and sold uh, the transportation company into different, uh, they refer to them as shipping lanes, but basically there was more than one company handling all the freight business. I seized the moment and started my company then because I turned those into my first clients and I made a lot of mistakes. And even though I was being paid very well back then in my tech job, it's really not the same because um, it's, it was so much different starting the business because I suddenly had to deal with things like payroll and I was the first employee at my company and I had to set up payroll. I hired an outside accounting firm. I highly recommend that if you uh, don't want to learn taxes, um, they, are complicated. There's a lot of rules. There's balance sheets and profit and loss. I've at least talked about profit and loss and I have a video on that. But um, whether you understand the complexities of the U.S. tax code, provided you're starting a business here in the U.S., the IRS really doesn't seem to care. Um, the agencies that are involved in collection of those taxes will uh, collect them. And if you don't file things properly without a proper accountant, they will collect them at a rate much higher than you may expect. And uh, your ignorance of the law is irrelevant to them. They will, you'll be in a lot of trouble. So I do recommend an outside accountant unless you want to do that. Now I filed my company as an S Corp, also not based on my incredible knowledge of tax code, but the knowledge of the accounting firm that I hired uh, said that was more advantageous than the LLC. I'm not going to answer the question of which one's better. Do some Googling uh, to get a basis of what those are and then hire a professional to make a decision on your business if that's a good thing for you or not. I will mention briefly though, I had a, another company called Suburban Computers that lasted from 2005 and 2006. And you're like, Tom, I've never heard you talk about it. It's painful. Um, I had a partner and so I've always had Lawrence Technologies and I took a partnership in 2005 and 2006 that uh, didn't go well. And so it was actually a company called Suburban Electronics. I partnered with someone and their existing company and we built that company back up. It actually went very well for the first maybe year and the next uh, six months went downhill rather quickly. Things kind of fell apart. Uh, me and the partner had a lot of problems. Uh, the shortest answer was the partner embezzled money. I never went after him uh, legally because it really wasn't worth my time to do so. I'm not a petty person. Could I have chased him legally? Wasn't really worth it. It's one of those uh, better to separate out from the company and do the next best thing, which was start another retail store right down the street because that one was in peril. And uh, then staff 
uh, right away wanted to come over and work for me because, well, part of what the partner had done besides take some money out of the company for personal stuff and try to hide it from me was also not pay the staff. And so they didn't have any trouble of who they were going to put their loyalties to was um, the person who actually paid them properly and didn't screw around with their pay. So um, that little messy venture I had was an eye opener. Um, and I decided from there forward, at least for the next foreseeable future, not to have a partner. And so far right now, I still don't have any partnerships. I am the sole proprietor and 100% shareholder of Lawrence Technology Services here in uh, 2020. Now, PC Pickup, you may see that around here, and I've slowly been phasing it all out, but that was that other retail store I started in 2007. And that went all the way until 2017 when we moved from where PC Pickup was over in Taylor, Michigan to Southgate, Michigan uh, in April 2017, which is the building we're in right now. That's when we moved here, and that's also when I started really focusing on YouTube. Because so I started doing YouTube before then, but it wasn't I, if you look, go through the history of my channel, it's laptop repair videos and things like that. I don't know. I was trying to figure out what to do on YouTube. Now, I always had those corporate clients. I was always building them up over time. I've got a couple of videos on relationship building and things like that, which are really important. Um, any marketing I did back in 2003 is not really relevant. Marketing I did for retail in 2007, much less relevant. Uh, social media is more where it's at now in terms of ways to market, but still the basis is the same. It's about you know relationship building and things like that. Now, we started getting rid of all the retail stuff around the end of 2018. We made a lot of changes. And in 2019, we phased out retail services altogether. So I have slowly, because of the way Google lets me rename things, it's been a little bit challenging to get rid of the full PC pickup name because I registered my YouTube channel with the PC pickup launch system. So depending on when you're watching this is whether or not I've got all the changes in place to get rid of the PC pickup and call me Lawrence Systems only. And that brings me, like I said, all the way to present day and how this company operates. So currently uh, we've got a group of on payroll regular staff and we have contractors we use and we have quite a few contractors. I may dive into that topic in another video. And like I said, I want to throw this out there to kind of give the brief history of my company and where we're at um, in terms of the way we marketed over the years. It's one of those dynamic things I can't just give you an easy answer for. But, you know, we did change with the times. Back, I remember buying paper ads when I had suburban computers. Newspapers were still relevant. They're much less relevant today in their form of like physical paper that they were back then. But, you know, whatever advertising means is you're going to do is you know, going to have to change and evolve with the times. Uh, we got heavy into social media and public speaking was a really big part of always how I built my B2B work. And that was what led to YouTube because, well, YouTube is the answer of how do I scale public speaking? Well, public speaking or even teaching people about technology to passions I have because I spoke at things like open source conferences and stuff like that. How do you get in front of more than 30 or 40 people that can squeeze into a room? You put it on YouTube. And it's kind of where we're at today. Right now, we decided towards sometime, I think it was beginning of 2019 or end of 2018. I didn't write these dates down specifically, but I, have to, I can reference roughly when I just quit spending any money in advertising was then because 100% of our inbound leads are currently YouTube. That comes up a lot. And I bring that up because a lot of people say, well, I want to start a tech company. And the most common question on any time I talk about a wiring job or Wi-Fi project or some of these on-site videos I do is, how'd you get the client? How'd you get the client? People thinking that there's some magic list of things where you can get these clients. That's not the case. It is the probably, you know, you may have some really good technical skills, but probably your biggest challenge is going to be landing those clients. Unless you're lucky enough to have a family member who can refer you business, a friend who can refer you business. Um, that's a lot of times when you see people or you've asked that question and scratched your head, how does that person even have a business? Sometimes you dive into their history, you'll go, oh yeah, their whole family, you know, handed them this, or they share a last name with a large company in the area. Uh, the owners of that company are like, oh, that's how they landed some of those clients. But that's an important part to think about. And I don't want to sugarcoat it. That is something, you know, really, really hard. And I've brought this up many times. I'm not overselling or ever try to oversell entrepreneurship because I think there's too many people trying to really sell you a book, sell you, uh, you too can be an entrepreneur, just follow these steps and procedures. And it's way more fuzzy than that. That's what makes these videos a bit harder uh, to do. And people ask me about a lot of business videos and my honesty makes them a little bit more challenging because I, I can tell you what I did, but that doesn't equate to exactly like you should just do the same thing. I mean, I'm going to say there's some pretty solid advice I give in terms of get an accountant because that's probably good advice. Now, if someone says, how do you find a good accountant? Oh, 
I don't know. I got lucky. I like my accountant. He's really good. Well, he now, it was his mom's company who started it and then he took it over. So the transition of power um, from her over 17 years towards him running it has gone really well. But that outcome is not the same because I know someone who just it was asking me about a good accountant because they had such a challenge with their accounting firm and problems with them not filing their taxes properly. Uh, it's the same problem with finding a good tech company. You can tell people you're a good tech company, but people are always a little skeptical of it. And these are reason why any of these service-based companies, uh, it's hard proving yourself. It's hard getting out there. Uh, but, you know, I want to at least throw this history out there. If there's something specific you want me to expand upon, I'm more than happy to do it. I'll leave a link, though, to a couple of videos that do expand upon a couple of things, like how do you hire someone and, you know, process procedure workflows or relationship building. I think I have a couple of videos on that. I'll leave them linked below. I have my whole business list video and I'll put a few of them, like I said, down below to talk about that. Um, I can give you general ideas that I hope help you along the way, but it's not like a tech video or a firewall video where there's a specific task and outcome, which makes these a little bit harder to do. But I'm always watching the comments and, you know, I have my forums, so I'll leave some comments and I'll uh, try to get back with one of more things on this particular topic maybe that you might find interesting. Um, but yeah, this is 17 years in business, which is kind of a lot to think about because I have now very much worked for myself far longer than I've worked for anyone else. I mean, 17 years doesn't feel like 17 years sometimes. And I, I, I know I've heard people say that. And I never understood that. And I don't know how to add context if you're just starting today going, what does 17 years later feel like? It doesn't. It feels like I've always done this. Um, but I still remember having a job at some point. But I don't know if I could ever go back to having a job. That's probably one thing I can say is the thought when people have, you know, made offers over the years to buy my company. I'm like, what would I do if I had a job? I don't know. But I'll, uh, anyways, leave comments below. I'll get back with people and let me know what sounds interesting. And I appreciate it. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.